We live in a world of water extremes. Floods devastate communities while droughts parch the land. This paradox highlights our broken relationship with water, a precious resource we often waste and undervalue. Traditional landscaping practices exacerbate these issues, relying heavily on irrigation systems that deplete aquifers and contribute to runoff. However, there's a better way. By understanding the natural water cycle, we can create gardens that work with nature, not against it. This is where passive rainwater harvesting comes in. Imagine a garden that captures rainwater, mimicking the Earth's natural processes and creating a self-sustaining ecosystem. This isn't just a pipe dream, it's entirely achievable and incredibly beneficial. Passive rainwater harvesting is a simple yet powerful concept. Instead of letting rainwater run off into storm drains, we can capture and store it where it falls, in our gardens. This approach provides numerous benefits. First, it reduces our reliance on municipal water supplies conserving this precious resource. Second, it minimizes flooding by slowing down and absorbing rainwater runoff. Third, it replenishes groundwater levels, ensuring the long-term health of our aquifers. Lastly, it creates healthier plants by providing them with the slow, deep watering they need to thrive. By embracing passive rainwater harvesting, we can transform our gardens into thriving oases while mitigating the negative impacts of floods and droughts. Gravity is the unsung hero of any passive rainwater harvesting system. It's a free, readily available force that we can harness to move water where we want it to go. By understanding how gravity works, we can design our gardens to take full advantage of this natural phenomenon. The concept is simple, water flows downhill. By creating gentle slopes and strategically placing elements like swales, berms, and rain gardens, we can direct the flow of water, encouraging it to soak into the soil rather than running off. This not only provides our plants with a consistent water supply, but also helps to prevent erosion and soil compaction. Plants are not passive recipients of water. They are active participants in the water cycle. Through a process called transpiration, plants release water vapor into the atmosphere, cooling the air and contributing to cloud formation. Additionally, plant roots create channels in the soil, improving its ability to absorb and retain water. When we incorporate a diverse range of plants into our gardens, we create a living sponge that can soak up and store significant amounts of rainwater. Native plants are particularly well suited for this purpose, as they have evolved to thrive in the local climate and soil conditions. By working with nature, we can create gardens that are both beautiful and functional. Creating a living sponge step-by-step -step guide Building a passive rainwater harvesting system in your garden doesn't require complex engineering or expensive equipment. It's a practical and sustainable way to manage water resources. In fact, it can be achieved through a series of simple, earth-friendly techniques. Step 1. Observe. Spend time in your garden during a rainstorm. This will give you a first-hand look at how water behaves in your space. Where does the water flow? Where does it pool? Identifying these areas is the first step in creating an effective system. Understanding your garden's natural drainage patterns is crucial for designing an effective system. This knowledge will guide your next steps. Step 2. Shape the land. Use swales, which are shallow trenches, to capture and hold rainwater, and berms, raised mounds of earth, to redirect and slow down the flow of water. These features work together to slow down and direct the flow of water, preventing erosion and promoting absorption. Swales should be dug along the contour lines of your garden, following the natural shape of the land, while berms can be created with the excavated soil, making efficient use of resources. Step 3. Choose the right plants. Select a variety of drought-tolerant plants that are well-suited to your local climate. These plants will thrive with minimal water. Native plants are ideal as they require less water and maintenance. They are adapted to the local conditions and support local wildlife. Plant densely to maximize water absorption and create a living sponge. This dense planting helps to retain moisture and reduce evaporation. Step 4. Mulch, mulch, mulch. Apply a thick layer of organic mulch such as wood chips or shredded leaves around your plants. This layer acts as a protective barrier. Mulch helps to suppress weeds, retain moisture and improve soil health. It also adds organic matter to the soil as it decomposes, enriching your garden over time. Swales and berms, shaping the land for water. 
These features are not just about water management, they are about creating a sustainable and thriving ecosystem. Swales and berms are essential elements in any passive rainwater harvesting system. They are simple yet highly effective techniques that can transform the way your garden handles water. They work in tandem to slow down, spread out, and sink rainwater into the soil, mimicking the natural hydrology of a healthy ecosystem. This process not only conserves water, but also helps in recharging groundwater levels. Swales are shallow ditches dug along the contour lines of your garden, designed to intercept runoff and allow it to infiltrate slowly into the ground. This method prevents erosion and promotes the growth of deep-rooted plants. Berms, on the other hand, are raised mounds of earth created with the soil excavated from the swales. These mounds can be planted with vegetation to further stabilize the soil and enhance the garden's aesthetic appeal. They act as barriers, slowing down the flow of water and encouraging it to spread out and soak into the soil. This controlled distribution of water ensures that plants receive adequate moisture without the risk of waterlogging. By strategically placing swales and berms, you can create a series of mini catchments throughout your garden, ensuring that every drop of rainwater is put to good use. This not only makes your garden more resilient to drought but also supports a diverse range of plant and animal life, creating a balanced and vibrant ecosystem. Choosing the right plants drought tolerant wonders. Plants are the backbone of any successful rainwater harvesting system. They play a crucial role in ensuring that the water collected is used efficiently and effectively. However, not all plants are created equal when it comes to water efficiency. Some plants require a lot more water to thrive, while others can do well with very little. Drought tolerant plants, as their name suggests, are masters at surviving and thriving on minimal water input. These plants have evolved to make the most out of the least amount of water. These hardy species have developed various adaptations to cope with dry conditions, such as deep roots that tap into underground water sources, allowing them to access moisture that other plants can't reach, waxy leaves that reduce transpiration, helping the plant to retain moisture and reduce water loss, and the ability to go dormant during periods of drought. This dormancy allows them to survive extended dry spells and bounce back when water becomes available. When selecting plants for your rainwater harvesting garden, opt for a diverse mix of species with varying root depths and water needs. This diversity ensures that your garden remains healthy and vibrant throughout the year. This will create a resilient ecosystem that can withstand fluctuations in rainfall. A well-planned garden can thrive even in the face of unpredictable weather patterns. Native plants are always a good choice, as they are adapted to the local climate and provide habitat for beneficial insects and wildlife. They support the local ecosystem and require less maintenance, making them an excellent addition to any garden. Overflow and Drainage Planning for Excess Water While passive rainwater harvesting aims to capture and utilize as much rainwater as possible, it's essential to plan for those occasional downpours that exceed your garden's absorption capacity. Excess water needs a safe and controlled outlet to prevent flooding, erosion, and damage to your home's foundation. This is where overflow pathways come into play. These can be as simple as a shallow ditch lined with gravel or a more elaborate French drain system depending on your site's specific conditions. The key is to direct overflow away from structures and hardscapes and towards designated areas like rain gardens, dry wells, or the street, if local regulations allow. Maintenance and care keeping your system thriving. Once your passive rainwater harvesting system is in place, it requires minimal maintenance to keep it functioning optimally. Regularly inspect your swales and berms for signs of erosion or blockage, and clear any debris that may accumulate. Monitor the health of your plants, providing supplemental watering only during extended dry periods. Mulch annually to suppress weeds, retain moisture, and improve soil fertility. By following these simple practices, you can ensure the longevity and effectiveness of your self-watering garden reaping the rewards of water conservation and a thriving ecosystem. Benefits Beyond Watering, a Resilient Ecosystem The benefits of passive rainwater harvesting extend far beyond simply watering your garden. By embracing this approach, you contribute to a more resilient and sustainable future. By reducing your reliance on municipal water systems, you conserve a precious resource and reduce the strain on local aquifers. Moreover, by capturing and infiltrating rainwater on site, you help to mitigate flooding and erosion, 
protecting both your property and the surrounding environment. Additionally, a self-watering garden requires less maintenance, freeing up your time and resources for other endeavors. Conclusion, a greener future, one garden at a time. In a world grappling with water scarcity and climate change, passive rainwater harvesting offers a beacon of hope. By working in harmony with nature's rhythms, we can transform our gardens into thriving oases that replenish the earth rather than depleting it. As we've explored, creating a self-watering garden is not only achievable but also incredibly rewarding. By understanding the principles of gravity, vegetation, and thoughtful design, we can all play a part in creating a greener, more sustainable future, one garden at a time.